Now you might say when it rains, it pours. At least that's the case for some Bay County residents living on Steelfield Road. It's unpaved and there's lots of potholes. So when it rains, water just collects. News 13's Alexia Chiropolis joins us live in our studios. Alexia, what do residents tell you about the situation up there? Tom, they're frustrated. They say the road damage is causing damage to their vehicles, causing extensive repairs. They say they don't have a choice. You see, Steelfield Road is the only way in and out of their community. It's horrible, um, especially when it rains. It completely floods. Nancy Berthold is a resident of the Bunker community since 2006. She says this is her second truck since moving here. Very rutted. Um, they need drainage out here. They need to dig the ditches. They need proper road maintenance. Berthold and her neighbors say Steelfield Road gets ruts every Thursday. When I called and complained, finally, it's been a couple of months ago that I called and complained, they told me that uh, we are on the docket to get this section of Steelfield paved, but it'll be uh, two years, maybe three. Until then, the temporary repairs aren't enough. Every time we get weather like this, between the flooding and the potholes and the washboarding, it just gets impassable almost. And Resident Eric Akins is concerned about school buses, emergency vehicles, and logging trucks traveling this way, most times going at high speeds. He also says he can't get a straight answer on the paving status. We don't pay property taxes in Bay County, but we are all residents that shop and work and you know do a lot of business in Bay County so they're getting tax money out of us it's just not through the property taxes so we would hope that they would address that and realize the huge increase in the amount of traffic on this road and uh, address it soon. The county's chief of infrastructure Keith Bryant gave us a statement saying after Hurricane Michael they identified Steelfield Road for a possible paving grant using FEMA money and he's hoping this project will begin in about six months. Everyone in the community will will be grateful for it yeah for sure yeah. and we won't have to spend money replacing tires and maintenance on our vehicles. Residents mentioned they've heard the county's 180-day timeline for years. The county officials say the federal grant and reimbursement is a lengthy process that causes delays. Tom.